why we stays on your neck it's <laughs> on my neck yo my dance make sure you hit that like button comment subscribe and obviously hit the bell for notifications so we've been talking about a lot of these anthony joshua videos over the last few days and weeks and it's quite interesting the first point i want to make before we get into the actual video we've just watched i want to talk about the actual principle of what he's doing does anyone else find it really odd i've got to be honest i didn't used to really track aj's snapchat and instagram so i'm not sure let me know in the comments below if you did but from what i've seen of the press and whatnot either people weren't tracking it or weren't really watching his videos before or he's made a change meaning he seems to be pumping out quite a lot of content now. Now we're seeing every single day there's a new training video. Now, like, like I say, I can't, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he was doing this throughout his career beforehand. I'm not sure. I never used to really check for it. I've only just started kind of looking. So let me know below. But if it, if this is a new thing, what does that say about AJ? What, what's he thinking? Does he want to, some people have speculated, is he trying to show us something? Oh, look, look I'm making changes or whatever. Which I find that, I do doubt that to an extent, and I reckon if I was gun to my head, I'd bet that he's been doing this for a while, but like I say, I can't be sure. Anyway, let's crack on with the actual video, and i got to say, it's not good news, and as always, let me put my disclaimer on it. These here are clips. Just get, not get twisted. We haven't got a whole, I'd love to have a whole hour footage, I'd love to have a whole session footage, but we haven't got that. We can only look at what we've got, and the bottom line is, he thought this was good enough or whatever he put it out publicly yeah that's the facts of the matter i haven't snuck into his cab and took a video and trying to say whatever aj ultimately put this on his snapchat so he wants people to see it he wants people to critique it if he didn't he'd give it to himself simple as that anyway so let's get on with what we see the first thing i think is quite interesting because like i say i haven't heard aj i haven't seen or i haven't seen aj doing any footwork drills like this before and I mentioned about the footwork, and he's, you see him on a treadmill, backstepping. And I mean, this is pretty good stuff in for for conditioning wise. But then again, he wasn't blowing. It was all that that one pace. And when you do footwork drills, in fact, when you do any drills in any sport, they need to be. You want to try and replicate, if not replicate, um, particular conditions. You actually want to over over replicate the the conditions. Meaning, um, in a fight. You need to have explosive footwork. In a training environment, you need to be even more explosive. Does that make sense? Because under pressure, under competition, your skills and your form is going gonna, is gonna to wane. It's going to be worse. Therefore, in training, we have to overstimulate the stuff we need to do. So when you see him on this treadmill, and he's going at a really like... Imagine, apply that footwork pace you see there to the Ruiz fight. And there's a reason AJ is not blowing on the treadmill. Um, back stepping backwards and I understand that it is difficult to move backwards quickly on a treadmill because of balance but don't use a treadmill then these sort of footwork drills as I explained the other day they should be being done you only need about 10-15 meters you take four rapid steps forward four ra rapid steps back at each end you can either finish it with a pivot or you can just go back and forth that's that's the kind of laps you should be doing that's what you do in the ring step 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 Bang, 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 and before you know it, your heart rate's up, and you're actually you're actually holding the form. A treadmill is not an actual thing. It's especially not for backstepping. It's made for running, and you can see it here. If, if you look at his feet carefully, he's losing his balance and he's he's swaying all over the place. That's because it's not natural. It's hard enough to run on a treadmill as it is. Never mind trying to backstep. These sort of drills should be happening on the floor. What you're not gonna you don't box on a treadmill anyway. I don't understand what what purpose a treadmill is really holding here. You can take four rapid steps back and four rapid steps forward. This kind of pace stuff, this ultra low aerobic stuff here, really low. Like then, if he moved his feet that slowly in front of Ruiz, he's getting knocked out. And besides, as I was saying, you need to be you need to be replicating. And one thing I've noticed in sparring, when you're doing your shadow boxing or whatever, I feel like I can shadow box all day. I think, oh yeah, next time I spar, I'm going to be able to do this, do that, do this, that, the other. But I go from shadow boxing, and then I get in, I get in the sparring a minute in, and I'm absolutely blowing. And I can't understand why is it when I'm in a a shadow boxing or on the bag I can go all day, but in the sparring 
I'm gassed. I'll tell you why it is. Because in sparring, you've actually got, you're reacting to stimulus. You're reacting to things. And when you react to things, when you, when a hand's coming at you, or when someone's, when a, when an 80, 90 kilo man is coming towards you, trust me, you move quick. It's like, it's like a, a, a lion. If you see a lion, you ain't gonna just be, 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 be slow paced and you're gonna make sure you're gonna be ex as explosive as you can be. And that's why in a fight, fighters get tired a lot quicker because in a training environment, you do, it's all, even in sparring, when, when, when fighters, com you can talk to fighters, when fighters compare sparring to actual fighting, they'll tell you. When you're in, when you're in sparring, your heart rate's not up, you're not anxious, you're kind of going through the motions, people aren't hitting you as hard as they possibly can, there's no real risk, does that make sense? There's not as much uncertainty. That's why, in a fight, there's a lot of pressure, people are literally throwing, going hell for leather, there's a lot of uncertainty. You haven't, like, a lot of people become comfortable with their sparring partners because you get used to their bodies, you get used to their movement. So it's not as, it's not as uncertain and as anxiety stricken as an actual fight. But like I say, you've got to try and, you've got to overcome them normalities of a training environment and turn them into a high pressure environment. Meaning, even when you, when you're doing these footwork drills, you need to be, you need to be using your mind to be, be as explosive as you can. It's no good going through the works in training and then you're going to be blowing in the third round in a fight. And maybe you, people can say, oh, well, maybe he's, he's warming up, maybe he's doing, maybe he's just doing like, Maybe he's been on there for an hour and he's doing some low, some low volume, so sorry, some high volume aerobic work. But my problem is, or my criticism is, why is it, if it's the case, oh, well, he's just doing this, why is it every video we see the same stuff? It's that low, that low pace, you never see any six or seven punch combos, it's all that low, that low middle ground sort of stuff. That dead, I'm sorry, a fight is the complete opposite of that. When you're in a fight... Everything needs to be explosive because we're talking about milliseconds here between getting caught. If your hand don't move, if your hand doesn't catch that punch at the right time, you're getting knocked out. Yeah. If your feet don't move that a little bit more faster, you're getting caught or whatever. And everything I seem to see is this mid-range aerobic, yeah, get going through the motions kind of stuff. You never see him really. Well, don't get me wrong. I've seen him stressed on the bike before. I've seen him stressed on a treadmill. Same as Dylan White. I exposed that last week. Dylan White. And you see it. I've seen it in gyms. I see it everywhere. Fighters. You see them really. They're really. Uh, what's the word? They're really exhausted on the bike or on the rower. But then in a boxing environment. Which is the actual muscle motions you want to be fatigued in. Because you're training for a boxing fight. You're not training for a cycling, a cycling race. You're not training for a running race. So why is it we're seeing these fighters most exhausted in a, on a cycling on a cycle and don't, don't, don't i don't give a i don't give a crap what no one tells you all these sports science guys will tell you oh cross training cross training well bottom line is if cross training was so damn good why was dylan white hanging on the ropes and the end of the 12th round i'll tell you why because l l most of these fighters are not stressing themselves enough in a fighting fighting is very a very particular set of movements it's nothing like riding a bike it's nothing like running therefore when you take when you take running fitness, and I, I told you a little analogy or a little story the other day. I had a friend who, who was doing Ironmans and stuff. Ironmans and ultra high level triathlons. And he got into, he got into a boxing spa and then he was done after a round. Couldn't do no more. Completely gassed. Couldn't hold his hands up. Hands up by his ankles. And that goes those to show. Fitness, from what I observe, fitness is, is very particular. Same as swimming. Runners, I know great runners who can't swim a lick. And that's because it's not only you have to condition yourself in a particular form, in that particular set of movements. That's what I think anyway. And maybe I'm wrong, but if it, the bottom line is, in my opinion, yeah, Joshua has been working with all these cross-training scientists for how long now? Ten years. And he's running out of gas after three rounds. I'll tell you now, if YB was there, it wouldn't take me ten years. Three, three, four, five months, my man would be doing 12 rounds. It'd be as simple as that. Where's, my, my, my question is, where is, where was all the sports scientists in the third round when he was puffing? Where were they at? I, c I couldn't see him nowhere. There was nowhere to be found. All this cross-training weren't there then. That's, that's the, that's the fact of the situation here. You can say why B don't know what he's talking about. Maybe I don't, but neither did they. Because he was, what we do know is, he was there, gassed, after four rounds. Fact. What do you want me to do with that? And I'm telling you, they ain't got a clue what they're talking about. That's the, that, that's the truth of the situation. 
call me a lie, call me what you want. Why is it taking them 10 years? And they haven't even got to the final result. In 10 years, he sh can't, bear in mind, if, if conditioning was an issue back then, why is it still an issue now, 10 years later? I'll tell you why, because, and this, I'm going to do a video on it in its own right, but let me move on now. So we've gone over the footwork drill, which, as I say, it's just low aerobic and not, not fast paced enough, and just do it on the floor. You need to be thinking technique in each training in each training mode you want to be focusing on a particular thing sometimes you just want to be able to get sometimes you just want to wor want to worry about um pushing your cardiovascular system if you just want to push your cardiovascular system you don't want to be worrying about trying to maintain balance on a treadmill at the same time and you like i said watch the video about you'll see him kind of lose balance and stuff and therefore so it's impossible it's like i just don't understand get off the treadmill and just be on the floor and work your footwork drills, trust me, do a few laps up and down, 10 metres one way, 10 metres the other, and trust me, you'll be blowing, yeah, that's the fact of the matter, I've done it myself, and then over time you can add ankle weights, you can add hand weights, to um, really emphasise that endurance, that's the simple, isn't it? it's not rocket science, really basic stuff, whatever, you're, whatever you want to achieve in the ring, you need to be replicating that in a training environment, no treadmill, we don't, no, you don't need no damn treadmill, you don't need no damn bike, yeah, keep it simple. Keep it, keep it. Whatever you want to do now. If if it turns out Joshua's training for the Tour de France, then yeah, great. Hop on the bike. Do it all. If if it turns out Joshua wants to be an Olympic rower, great. Hop in the rowing machine. Yeah, simple as that. Otherwise, keep it keep it simple. Stress your body using the particular sport movements. However, you can stress your body in a boxing environment. Do it. Great. But you never see him doing that on the pads. You'll see him smiling. You never see him really. You never. I never see him hanging over the ropes, blowing. But you'll see him in a fight, hanging over the ropes, blowing. Why is that? In training, you should be able to replicate it. The same way you see him. I showed you a video. I've seen AJ do it as well. AJ Dylan White. They get off the bike. They got off the biking machine, or they get off the rower, and they're hanging. They can't stand up. Show me a training video of Josh or Dylan White ever hanging after a pad session or hanging after a. Um, a bag session you don't see it that's the issue that's why when they get in the ring they run out of gas because they're too busy on the bike that's my maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm wrong but that's what i'm thinking anyway that's what i believe uh, anyway so we've gone past the first part and that was with aj on the treadmill then we move on and it gets worse i've got to say it does get worse this dude and I'm, i've been talking about this the last few days but where's my crappen where's my cracker at where is he Nowhere to be found. They got this other dude in there. This who's who's a dude flinging that towel up and down? It's in, honestly, I, I, honestly, I feel embarrassed. I really do. I feel embarrassed that his AJ's got these type of dudes around him. They don't, they don't know boxing. What's that towel doing? Seriously. And you can all say, oh, you're an AJ hater. He knows what he's doing. I'm not blaming AJ. I'm blaming. In fact, no. At this point, what's that towel doing? Someone explain to me what that towel is doing, going up and down. Is, and, is Andy Ruiz going to be waving his hand in front of you like that? Or is he going to be... I just don't understand it. You want to replicate what's going to be happening. Now, it's, if, if you've got... If you had one of them flume things and you're, and you're pushing it in AJ's face, I get that. But everything should be going towards AJ's body or AJ's face. What's that towel doing swiping up and down? What's that meant to be? I don't get it. Does it maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, I don't, maybe I'm the one that's not understanding things. What is that towel doing? So AJ steps him. With a one, one, once again, one boring ass punch. He steps in with one stiff, slow punch and then steps back. And then the guy, one, once AJ's out of the way, the guy then throws the towel. What's that proving? What's that proving there? I don't get it. What's he proving? He throws the towel after AJ's out of the way. What's the point? I just don't get I just really don't get it. And the problem is, I'm, I've got a video coming out soon, but that guy there, or well, bottom line is, AJ, AJ's got on his team people who who are coming from a football and a tennis environment. He's got a tennis trainer in there. He's got a football trainer, an ex-football trainer in there. What the fu- what, What's going on? Seriously, what's going on here? And this is the problem again. You've got all these scientists with degrees. They come in and say, oh yeah, don't worry, Josh. Even though I'm, I'm ex-tennis, yeah, yeah, I've got a degree in this. I've got a degree in that. It don't matter. Yeah, cross-training, cross-training, Josh. Cross-training, don't worry. I I'm coming from football and tennis. I haven't got a lick, a lick of a clue about boxing. But don't worry, it's cross-training, Josh. It's cross-training. Yeah, we can do it. Don't worry. And because of the money, they're all of course they're going to say that. 
Regard, even though he hasn't got a clue about boxing, even though he hasn't got a clue about a clue about, even though he's he's com- coming from a tennis or a football background, they're not going to tell Joshua. You know what, Josh? To be honest with you, you haven't got a lick of a clue about boxing. They, they they're going to sell you all of this new age stuff about cross training, and that's what we're seeing here. What is that towel doing? What's that teaching AJ to do? So so AJ steps in with one jab, and then the man throws a towel. I beg someone to explain. It's embarrassing at this level. It really is. I'm truly. I watched it and I cringed. I watched it and I actually cringed. What's that about? I just don't get it at all. And even worse so, because as I was saying in the last few days, McCrappen's not there. He's not even He's not even a great coach. You've got a dude who ain't even a great coach and he's never there. It's, it's double whammy. You're a crap coach and you're never there. It would be one thing if you can say, well, why be? He's not a great coach, but at least he's there every day. He's not even there. What the fuck? It's it's completely mental this situation. What AJ's team and AJ's camp is truly mental. And at some point, AJ's gonna have to take responsibility here and take a step back and say, "Listen, man, it's my career at the end of the day. You got all these clingers on who haven't got a clue what they're doing. I'm sorry, it's the facts of the situation here. AJ's flaws are very particular, and it makes me laugh. If just watch this here. So AJ throws a jab. Watch where his hand goes. He throws the jab. Watch where his hand goes after he threw the jab. Where does it go? Does it go straight back to his chin? So he throws the jab. You tell me where his hand goes. His hand goes naturally back to his chest. And then eventually, he barely brings it up to his head. And this is the problem. He, instead, of, instead of this guy got, got a towel flailing up and down, he should be standing in range with AJ and disciplining AJ to bring his hand straight back to his head. I.e., when AJ hits the target... The man then touches him in the head, or punches towards his head, and AJ will quickly get the message. Simple as that. Quickly get it. And there's a drill you can do with pads. So if you've got a pa- imagine you've got a pad man in front of you. As AJ touches the, touches the pad, the pad man can then throw a counter with his other pad towards AJ's head. And the, the first time, he'll probably catch AJ square in the head, because he won't bring his hand up properly, but eventually, you, you get disciplined. As AJ, and that gets AJ in the habit of jabbing and preparing for a counter. So as AJ jabs, the Padman throws his his um his opposite hand. The Padman catches AJ's jab, and then the Padman also throws at the at the time AJ touches the pad. The Padman throws his pad, and that will get AJ in the habit of jabbing and getting ready to parry, or make sure, at least make sure his guards up up close. What well, you can watch it for yourself. I'm not being. A, I'm not, I'm just talking about what I'm seeing. Watch AJ's hand. He throws the jab and it comes back to his chest. No good there. And if and this my man's got a towel, waving a towel up and down. That's not the issue here. It's really not. And you can say oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Fine. The bottom line is AJ's opponents do. I put a video out yesterday. Manny Robles literally talked about the things I've just said here. Yet yeah, we know what we not we know we not to do with AJ. He's got a good jab, but he always brings his hand back too low. So we know we can counter him with an overhand right. Listen to it. It's there for you. And what do we know? AJ's got a doing doing a jab drill here, and his hands are still coming back too low. And my man's got a towel and waving it in front of AJ. What's that doing? Genuinely, what's it doing at this level? If this was an amateur coach, it'd still be embarrassing. But all right, whatever. Amateur coach hasn't got a clue, but fine. This is a very pinnacle of boxing. This is meant to be, and this is a, a fo- ex football tennis guy. That's why he's doing that. He's watched a few videos and seen. Um, and seen some random towel. What's the towel doing? What, what, what's that? Because even when you see AJ steps in, he steps in and then takes a half step back, and then the man throws his towel up and down. What's what's that doing? Uh, I'm, 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 I might sound like I'm being patronised. I'm not making it. I'm a know it all. Well, you know what? Take it as you want. I know what I'm saying is correct. And if if anyone wants to pull me on technically what I'm saying, pull me on it. Don't just say, "Oh, you think you know it all." Pull pull me on what I'm saying. Critique what I'm saying, and I want the best for AJ, but I'm sorry, and it makes me laugh. People say, oh, oh YB, you know what you're talking about. If I don't know what I'm talking about, what, what's that guy doing then? What's he doing? And then this video finishes off, as always, with AJ back on the bike. El Clasico, back on the bike, that lovely bike. It's doing, it's doing loads for your cardio. Back on the bike, yeah. Not good, man. Not, I'm really, I'm not, I'm not impressed. And Andy Ruiz posted a video. I'm going to react to that in its own right, but Andy Ruiz posted a Twitter basically calling AJ a robot and um this is just not I don't know man I'm just not I'm not impressed I'm really not and I get I get the whole state I get the whole staying loyal thing but there comes a time 
You've got to take a step back and actually look at what's going on around you. This, I, I, don't, I don't even know who that guy is. Who is that guy? Where is McCracken? AJ's coming off a shocking loss, yeah? What's McCracken doing? Why is McCracken... Genuinely, if McCracken's such a good trait, coach, and cares about Josh, what is McCracken doing at, the, at these times? If it was me, if that was my guy who just lost you, yeah, I'd be saying, listen, Josh, I know I had dual responsibilities before, but these next six months, I want to make sure I'm with you every day. Bearing in mind you're paying me millions of dollars, by the way. <laughs> well, it's the least you can do. Or, if that's not the case, AJ, bring one of these other trainers in, who will actually dedicate you the next six months. To just you. There's coaches bending over backwards to, to do that. Do you know what I'm saying? I'd come, and people can say, I don't know boxing. I'd come in for free. So my intentions are clear. A YB would come in for free. As long as my accommodation is sorted out, no problem. I'd come in for free. And pull you on the things that I see. I'm not saying I know everything. I'm not saying I technically know everything about boxing. But as it, when it comes, as it comes to, to form and conditioning... I, I back myself one million percent now strategy stuff like that. I'm not too. I'm not too sure on strategy, but pure form and Condition and discipline your boy YB is there hundred percent and I don't give a fuck Listen that dude there that that tennis dude the foot ex football dude tennis dude f flinging a thing in front of you I'll take him out any day N any day of the week. No problems. I guarantee you It can't get any worse than that uh, seriously, how could the YB be worse than that? Flinging the towel up and down. Come on. And and the fact that AJ's put this out, d d these guys must think that's good. Surely they must not. You wouldn't put out your worst work, would you? They must. He must be. D these guys must be doing that and thinking it's actually good. Maybe, but like I say, let me finish the video with. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I don't know what I'm on about. And if so, please someone educate me on where I've gone wrong. So I, I, I like to learn. Regardless of what I do or don't say, I actually like to learn. So if I'm if I'm looking at you wrong, someone please critique me, no problem.